Hey guys, it's John from Tech7.net and welcome to part 2 of Getting Started with Carbide. The first thing we're going to take a look at is how to install plugins for Carbide. I've included the download URLs for these files in the video description below, or on the side, wherever it may be right now. One of them is for theme plugins and the other one is for theme edition compilers. For the theme plugin dropdown, you should see the N97, 5th edition, E71, E66, and E75. All we really need are the N97 and E75 plugins, so click download now and save. And uh, wait for that to be finished, and there we go. Good job, now do the same for the E75 plugin. Don't forget the theme compilers, download that as well. Okay, now that we have all three downloaded, exit out of your browser. Now you need to open up Carbide. Once you're in Carbide, click on Windows, Preferences, Carbide UI, Plugin Management. Okay, if you never installed any plugins before, all you should see is S40, as well as 2.6, 3.1, 3.2, and 5.0. From this list, you should see N97. I'm going to get rid of that and reinstall it just to show you guys, because I'm so nice. Click Add, Browse, and locate the .zip file of all the plugins you've downloaded earlier. You actually don't need to extract anything from the .zip file. Carbide will do that on its own. Isn't it awesome when things are easy? Oop, done. Okay. Just repeat the same thing for the E75 and you are set. From this drop down menu, you can select either N97 or E75, and the theme screenshot should render to the resolution of these plugins. Once you have done that, you are good to go and you are ready to theme for these devices. Okay, now we gotta install the Carbide theme compilers. Open up my computer and the .zip file you downloaded earlier. Navigate to the path provided in the description on the side or on the bottom for both applications. Extract the three folders inside the zip file into the Win32 Carbide folder. I have to replace it because I already have them in there, cause I'm the coolest ever. Essentially, the three different compilers were created by Nokia for S63, E-Series, and N97. From my experience, I've only needed the N97 compiler, so simply copy the file inside and replace the file in the Win32 folder. Confusing and complicated, I know, and it sucks, definitely, but this step is very important to ensuring your themes render properly. Promise! Now that you have the plugins and compiler installed, you are good to go and ready to get started. Woo! Now I'm going to give you an overview of the component store. Despite the name, it is not an actual store where you can purchase theme elements. Aww, shucks. Actually, it's more like a file manager. You can display theme elements from example themes or from themes you have already created. Click on the component store tab and then click on the little icon on the right hand side slightly below it. A menu will pop up and you can have Carbide display theme elements from open projects or example projects. This is really handy for beginners and pros because it provides an image base to work from and manipulate through your graphic editor. Here are all the clock faces from the example themes. Neat, isn't it? Let's look into some more optimization. By default, the gallery tab will display an array of screenshots rendered from different menus. This is very handy but it takes up a lot of system resources and memory. To hide all these screens, simply click on one of the icons below the gallery tab. Here's another optimization trick. This only applies to users who already have made a few themes. Click on the navigator tab on the left. This will display all the projects you have already created or opened with Carbide. To save system resources, it is a good idea to close any open projects you are not using. You can highlight them individually or hold shift and highlight a bunch of them all at the same time. Right click and select close project in the pop-up. Mine says open project because I actually have them closed at the moment. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. This was John from tech7.net and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!